Start. We're not starting. What? We're not starting with that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, you got a nice head dude, on that. You just came you out so nice head on that thing, dude. And that's how you start. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, you came out with key bump vibes for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Don't, we're not <laughs> fucking starting. We ain't starting like this. You we ain't fucking starting. Dude, you can't say that because uh, yeah. the fucking the chats are they, already the chats on board know what's with. Up, dude. They always think I'm on nose beers, and it's just sure. it's my natural abilities. <laughs> sure, I know. To shock people. Yeah, you're never. My ex always used to say like the way you enter a room and scare strangers because i'll just you know the dog pat goes somebody. running <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no i'll pat somebody on the back like how you doing but they just like you know yeah shudder a little bit are you yeah. patting or are you hitting you no i don't a... i'm not a big slapper dude i'm yeah. not a slapper i grew up with my my brothers and my dad we're huggers we're emotional huggers yeah, i hate yeah. when you hug another guy kisses. and they yeah. feel they feel weird about it mm-hmm. so their only way to get around it they're just like Hey, don't yeah, pal. Right. Okay. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Good, Good to yeah. see you. It's yeah. like, you're, why, why are you burping me? That's kind fuck? of me a little bit, depending on who it is. Yeah. Yeah. I come from a very cold family. Yeah, I bet yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's cold. I was just going to say, it's you are cold obje- as ice over there. You are objectively the more trash half of are you garbage. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, for sure. We were real like new money. Like my, my parents grew up. I was talking to my mom over Christmas. I didn't know, realize like she was like dirt poor, like one of nine Kensington yeah. cop salary, like grandmother didn't work yeah and she was like i've only been i went to a restaurant one time and <laughs> yeah. she goes oh, it was one a, time it was, was in my funeral? communion no oh, she goes, yeah. it was my communion and i go and she's like oh i was like they took you all she goes no they just took me and it was a diner i'm yeah. like yeah. oh you were like crazy poor yeah yeah, yeah. i always bre- boasted about uh, going to olive garden for my high school graduation mm-hmm. i walked in i was like dad you're taking six of us to olive garden yeah it's a big fucking <laughs> i know deal. olive garden was always i think I, I went to olive garden like twice we were an applebee's family yeah like through and well, through that's the second birthdays tier. everything and then olive garden is up here kiddo my mom and my stepdad for their like anniversary and their birthdays they would go to outback and the kids would stay home like i did like dude even now now i have like some money i'm like god damn yeah. outback yeah Jesus first time Christ. i went to outback was my brother steve's birthday and i stole all the steak knives in one of the leftover tents of course for his house, because he just got like a, a new apartment. He's you know? a little kid. <laughs> I was like, happy birthday. I couldn't afford anything, so I thought this is like a good housewarming That's gift. A great like, I got you nice knives Yeah, from the restaurant. We were now just you're there. part of this misdemeanor. Congratulations. <laughs> Love the place. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. You're getting a rest on the way home from a fucking steakhouse. We went to diners every once in a while after church as a reward for getting through church. Yeah. We go to a diner, and get a, you get like a little Cap'n Crunch. You that's what cereal you got? to diner? That's what you got? Yeah, I got a little... Did cap- your dad talk you in this? We never... They wouldn't allow us to buy Captain Crunch for the house. You could... Why wouldn't you get, like, pancakes or something special? <laughs> Captain Crunch was special. <laughs> that little box? Uh, yeah, dude, that thing yeah. sucked. Oh, well, I got yeah, a that was, like, two spoonfuls. First of all, uh, that's been p- on the shelf for uh, decades. Yeah, get the fuck out of here. <laughs> I like, like what you get on box. an airplane. <laughs> no, no one's pushing the Captain Crunch no. to restock that. No <laughs> I one's liked buying the, Captain Crunch. It was novelty to me. I liked mini That's what it was helmets. on the shelf, right? too. Novelty. It wasn't <laughs> supposed to be consumed. Yeah. That box well, was I, all dusty and I shit. I loved yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> and Carol, yeah. the small Mick in, in booth four wants Captain Exactly. Crunch. I felt like a giant tearing the box open. I'd yeah. bring out the little bag. Pop it open. Yeah, it was amazing. Yeah, Jesus. We Christ. never, we, we never went out to, to uh, like dinner anywhere. Yeah, we we didn't even go to like Outback or anything. We like never, never. Well, it was just what, you remember like, the biggest noodles. splurge? <laughs> don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> We're past that episode. Dude. What? All right. Well, he had, don't even. He like he he thought egg noodles would spice up a chicken parm dish. It does. <laughs> it's the most. I mean, it's the most ridiculous. I don't even thing. think I've ever had egg noodles. Yeah. They're coming in a bag at the bottom of the shelf in the grocery store, right? They, yeah, again, they shouldn't be consumed. They're there for novelty <laughs> yeah, reasons. Your bottom of the shelf people, yeah, I'm picking yeah, up on that. Yeah, you yeah. know, like during Christmas, you're not eye level. You're not. You're not. You're not grabbing the shit at well, eye level. Well, my parents, I think, had the same thing that your parents had going on, where it was like their their parents were like depression era. Sure, people, yeah, yeah. So they didn't do anything. Uh-huh. And my my mom's dad was also a cop, so it was like cop salary. So and I think he was doing okay, but it was still like we're not spending money on anything. Yeah. And my, they still have that vibe where they're just like... My dad was the opposite. My dad got money. He was like a steam fitter in the union. And then like started his own business. And then like that started cooking a little bit. Yeah. I think like on... In his head it was cooking more than it was cooking on paper. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, I think yeah. he was just like, oh, this job costs... You know, they paid us $500,000 to do this job. He's like... That five hundred thousand dollars is mine. I'm like, no, no, looking no, by no. it, don't work like that. Yeah, yeah, like, you, know yeah, I mean? like, yeah. you owe that money. You owe four hundred and eighty thousand dollars out to people. Easy. You maybe made twenty. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, it's like they would like come and take the cars and shit in the middle of the night. Your yeah. your parents' cars? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like because he wasn't like, paying his bills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he didn't have the money. 
Whoa. And he was just like the king of like, ah, yeah, okay, I'll square up with you next month. I'll square up with you next month. And finally, like, they were like, let's take the Lincoln. Ah, yeah, the Lincoln. They would come get the Lincoln. They would come get <laughs> I the knew Lincoln. It. I knew this motherfucker was driving the Lincoln. <laughs> Only a scumbag like that goes, you know what? We're going upgrading the. We're getting the Lincoln. <laughs> it was Jeeps for a long time. It was every, it was, it was every is, Jeep Cherokee for years. That is such a white trash leap. <laughs> And then he bumped up to the aviator. And I, dude, I, I was drive that when I was like 16. I'm like, yo, I'm the coolest fucking yeah, dude. dude. And then like three days later, I'm like, where's the car at? Yeah. He's like, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Trash people growing up in like fucking Chrysler LeBarons. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Their whole, they go to bed at night going, one day I'm going to have a Lincoln. Getting a Lincoln yeah. for sure, dude. It's like a spaceship. <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna go into debt so someone can take the hands <laughs> yeah. off my hands. Yeah. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, it was crazy. It was like, it was a lot of that. It was a lot of smoke and mirror. And we don't speak anymore. We haven't spoken. You and your anymore. parents? Me and my dad. Yeah, I was oh, he'll come like, back around when he sees how much money AYG's doing. I, <laughs> <laughs> hey, Kev, you want to go to... Hey, Kev, what's this Patreon thing everybody's yeah. talking about? That's my you money. You want to go for a bike yeah. ride? Because they took all my cars. <laughs> you know how many what Lincolns you can get? getting this yeah. aviator. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I don't... I, we haven't... Spo- I, the last time I saw him was in a Wawa parking lot, actually. Is he sleeping there? <laughs> <laughs> and we iced each other. Like, we just walked... Oh. I was walking out. He was walking in. That's a dynamite move. And dude, like, that's like... The, that, that is how dirtbag Philly trash we are. <laughs> yeah. I iced them at a while. I didn't even hold the door or nothing. I yes, just, dude. Whoosh, right Whoa. by each other. Did you go red? Did Like, what was your internal feeling? You probably had tingles, I, I was right? just kind of like, I want to see what he does. I was like, because I'm going to ice him. I can ice. Yeah. I can, you know... You've I already can, cut that. You cut that off. Yeah, I'm like, I can go. I was like, if he goes, hey, what's up? I might do, hey, you know, hey, good to see you and keep it moving or whatever. Yeah. We weren't going to do a stop and chat. And then he just, we just, I think he picked up like, oh, he's going to fucking ice me. Yeah. So he's like, I'm not extending the olive branch. You think he was afraid like physically what you would do? I don't think so. Yeah, no, I don't know. He was always a. He was a steam fitter. Yeah, he's a, he was a bad dude. That means he could work with his hands. Yeah, yeah no, he was that like. That means he's got two fucking bear paws. Yeah, around. he was. seen the yeah. steam fitter's knuckles? <laughs> yeah, it's dude. outrageous. Yeah. They just keep growing like a child's hand. Dude, he, well, like, even into <laughs> adulthood. thicker. He would try to fight people, like, constantly. Yeah, my and uncle Ray's like that. He would, he'd be like, I got one more left in me. Do you yeah. want it? Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, oh, fuck. Well, every time they, like, they drop a wrench or, like, Snap their hand, they just go, and it builds up for years. And anger. Like, one day, no, if you someone's not gonna hold that. the door for me, yeah. wah wah, and I'm gonna <laughs> yeah. make a mess of their face. Dude, he almost got, he went after this dude at a at a super fresh uh, deli <laughs> counter because <laughs> the guy didn't take a number, and my dad was like, "I'm standing up for society." You know yeah. what I mean? Like this yeah. is. He's like, you're gonna cut in front of fucking everybody. Yes, the guy's dude. like, oh, who do you think you are? Outside, right away, my dad goes, let's oh, go outside. Yeah. And he taught me, he's like, always remove the audience because yeah. the tough guy will be a tough guy <laughs> yeah. in front of the people that are there. They change their First tune when all, they get outside. This dude rules. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you did to fuck this up, yeah, right? but I'm on Mr. Ryan's side, 100. percent He's a wacko for sure. My pop was like that. Yeah. His whole his whole social interactions with strangers was to teach lessons. Oh, oh yeah. So like, if someone was being a jerk off on like 76 or 95. He would have all three kids <laughs> without seatbelts. Sure. And my mom in the car, and he'd be like, I'm going to cross this dude's bumper yeah. by a 16th of He's an inch. Learn. And I'm going to learn him something. And my I'm mom's gonna going to learn Steve, him something. Yeah. Steve, she's white knuckling in the front seat. The kids are in the car. <laughs> yeah. And my dad's like, fuck them. My dad's approach was the exact opposite. He was like, <laughs> he was like, he was like, basically, Let's follow like, him home and kill him at night. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get his address he, and if go. If he and had sleep to do it, it. <laughs> that's where, that's how he do it. Old Connecticut sniper. <laughs> no, his his whole approach was like the rest of the world is insane. Yeah. Get involved with it as little as possible. Yeah, and he made you. <laughs> oh, the most insane person yeah. possible. <laughs> right, right. It's like don't, yeah. don't get you involved. You write a book with on me. how to make a serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm benign. I That's a weird way to say that. <laughs> I'm benign. That's so like fucking medical. Well, you got to check in with me every couple yeah, years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a couple years? A couple years? Yeah, yeah. No, I'm benign. A couple months. One yeah. time I remember. I start we, getting a weird outline. I can yeah, we metastasize pull up, uh, or whatever. I'm going to say the street, Vermont and Marshall, looking at the Wawa. Where'd you grow up? Cheswell Road, Drexel Hill. Drexel Hill, okay. And uh, I remember my this guy in front of him was pissing him off. He was doing like the break seas kind of gang. <laughs> Yeah. You know what I mean? He's guys, give me the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> so there I am, feeling like a jerk off. This guy's doing a brakes. I, I guess I, I said that in my what head. A, like, what a cute word for yeah. this guy who's about to get well, his I head back. I was like six, in. so yeah. I was like, that's, that's doing the brakes. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm eating a box of Captain Crunch in the back seat. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Gnawing up the roof of my mouth for three weeks. Patsy, and- he's giving me the brakes. <laughs> and he just, all he did was go, he, click, he just unclicked the seatbelt once we got to the red light. And I thought it was like the baddest thing in the world because mm-hmm. of course my mom went fucking bananas. She sure. knew what he was, was going to do. He cracks the door a little bit 
And then the guy just pulled off. But he was ready. Like, think about how white trash that is. Yeah. Your kids are in the car. He was ready just to fight someone in a, a busy intersection. Yeah. Because he was doing brakesies. I think- <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever do brakes. <laughs> See, I'm getting a sense that your dad has a good sense for theater. That's good theater. The slow unbuckling of the belt. Or it's he's crack. been in that situation many times. Do you think prepared. he was really going to get out there and hit that guy? I've seen my dad fight. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a real... You At know. a stoplight? No, I mean, I've never seen him fight in the middle of a street. <laughs> yeah, well, that's a different I'm game. Killed. Yeah, but he's a fucking maniac. My, his, his brothers, he's one of, he's one of nine. Mm-hmm. His dad left him when he was a, te- a teenager, so he had to raise all his brothers. He would get called out of class in high school to go to grade schools and be like, your brother Roger's fighting again. And he was the only one that could stop them. So he would go to like, he would get, he Jesus. would have to go to their grade schools and pick them up. <laughs> like bear spray. Because they had no father. So they were just fucking mayhem. That's, yeah. oh my God. Well, you're relatively normal then, I guess. I am. I mean, considering that. Yeah. Where do you get your accent? Kensington from your mother? It's bad. Yeah, it's the Northeast. Yeah. It's like, it's, th- unbelievable. it's always worse in the Northeast. And like when I'm hanging out with fucking knuckleheads like you, it yeah. comes out even It comes more. out, right. When I go back on the Delco, I start getting. I, it's bad. I noticed it. I've lost it a bunch. It's coming back a little bit, I think, but uh, my nieces and nephews have it real, oh, f- and it's like it's a disease. It's this cute little boy or yeah, girl, and they're like, "Can dude. I eat a coke?" And yeah. you're like, "Oh, it, yeah. that's crazy to see." When you see like a little kid with a Boston accent or oh. something, you're like, "They're still making those." Burn, I know yeah, they're, they're still making, making, they're those. making new ones. <laughs> yeah, it's bad, dude. It's Get on bad. the internet. People are talking normal. There's re- no excuse they're an accent anymore. I remember meeting Kev, for, like this is 10, 10, 11 years ago sure. with Foley when we did The Raven. Sure. And I heard him talk the first time. It was really bad back then. And it was like, it was high pitched like me, thick Delco like me, but with a Northeast twang. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, he's going in Raven. <laughs> <laughs> and I swear, you know how like when yeah. a pug, uh-huh. when, a, when a, you hear like a high pitched thing and a pug yeah, has yeah. to like, like a dog alter his a ears so yeah. that his brain doesn't shake. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I remember just like looking at you going like just, fucking. <laughs> transmitters are going off. You're trying to pick it up. Yeah. <laughs> trying to save my eardrums. <laughs> <laughs> this it's, venom he's spitting. I, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I'm embarrassed. I try not to do it. My family, though, it's fucking... Yeah, same. So my wife is... Uh, my wife's from Germany, and I think it was last summer, maybe two summers ago, we were down the shore in North Wildwood, and <laughs> she had just met my cousin. And she had never... My my, my, my wife has never spent a lot of time in... She's only... The only people from Philly she's ever really met have been my family, right? Yeah. Like, we've never spent, you know, extended time down there. And she met my cousin, and then we went down to the shore on, like, a Thursday. So like the island was kind of like empty, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then come Friday, it's just like a bunch of drunk roofers. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just like they yeah. come flooding in and yo, yeah. taking an early quit, we're yeah. going down, but you know. <laughs> so they so now it's like chaos. It's just you know, there's fucking hundreds of thousands of people. And she my cousin my cousin has the thickest, like, what are you doing? Yeah. Like and she, my my wife's like, Oh, her accent's like really crazy. I'm like, Yeah, you know, it's just what it is, you know. Yeah. I've never thought anything of it. And then there was this other woman the next day going, like, screaming over a parking spot in North Wild. Well, like, that's my fucking spot, you cocksucker. Yeah. And she goes, oh, your cousin Bridget is outside. And I'm like, no, that's just every girl from Northeast Philadelphia. And they're all named Bridget. Sounds exactly yeah, the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. a bunch of freckle monsters <laughs> fighting over parking spots. I thought you were going to say, like, she was just sitting there being like, I thought I had a handle on this English thing. but Oh, yeah, no. There's, like, she'll say, like, if we go to, like, we went to, Does like, she have an accent? Does your wife have an accent? Yeah, 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 for She's sure. Like, it's been ein Berlin. Like, it's not, it's not so... She's like the softer version of it. You okay, know what I mean? Yeah. She's not like an old like beer wench. You know oh, what I mean? Man. She, it's definitely <laughs> soft. It's more European. She I'm has like a more. To come. Yeah, yeah, that'd be a <laughs> yeah. It's not brutal. That. I kind of <laughs> wish for that sometimes. Though, you know what I mean? Just to get me going a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Does does Germany Germany have, they have regional accents? Yeah, for sure. Like they view their uh, like the stereotypical thing of you think of Germany like Munich and like Oktoberfest and like the fucking you know. The, the girls in, like, the fucking braids. Like, the St. Pauli girl girl. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They have the, they're all the hillbillies to the rest of the country. Oh, okay. They're like, I don't even understand them when they talk. That's, like, their redneck. That's their doko. That, yeah, that's, like, their fucking real yeah. dumb just yoga. When I went to Drexel, Drexel's only, it's, like, 10 minutes away from yeah, yeah. 15. Yeah. And I remember, like, meeting did people. Did he go to Drexel? Yeah. He did, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I'll speak for you doing this. Uh, <laughs> and I remember, like, the first, like, orientation. And I was like, yeah, you, you know, you from around here or whatever? Like, and I just like, I was hardcore. Good you know? Lord. Yeah. yeah all like, these like, they were like, all where? these waspies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They were like, where are you from? And I was like, right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you squint, you can see my house. Yeah. It took me till like junior year to, to totally stop. Yeah. Well, when you're just, around it more, it happens. Yeah. Right. 
you know, I mean, like, so my, I had to move. You got to yeah, move. You got to get out of there. You and then you start, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah, were yeah. part of like every kid's first call home to their parents. Uh, yeah, you got like, yeah, to see time. It's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> he punched the RA. <laughs> How you I just slowly the click out of my seat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to a diner by myself eat, eating cereal. You know, my mom never let me have any of this before. <laughs> like, holy fuck. Yeah, he got little Captain Crunchies in there. Yeah, this is crazy, dude. For free? Who it do is. I pay? I used to work at the Macy's in Center City. And not bragging, you know. I used to do all right. security guard? <laughs> no, I worked in the menswear. Because uh, my brother got me the job. My brother graduated Temple. And that, like, Macy's... I don't know. Like, they used to shove that down your throat of, like, the Macy's... All educated. management program is like one of the best in the country. If you Shut can get the in there, up. you can get in anyway. I swear to God. They were like known for it. So he got in and then was like, yo, after like three months, he got me the job like right away. But he's like, yo, this fucking sucks, dude. I'm nobody out. told him that? Yeah, no, nobody told him. All you got to do is go to Macy's. I know. Like this isn't the management program I want to be in. Dude, you selling men menswear with that accent yeah. had to well, be. Well, it's also like you weren't getting the cream of the crop. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. The real the Wanamakers weren't coming yeah, in to pick up their suits. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It was all people really stealing DKNY yeah. jeans. Yeah. Were you like, attempting? <laughs> dude, they used to come in and just grab fucking. And 50 like Hugo <laughs> Boss jeans and just fucking run out and jump on the L. <laughs> yeah. In the Springfield Mall, I used to go, they had the the jewelry store was downstairs, upstairs was the menswear. You'd walk in the jewelry store, go up the escalator, grab some like shorts and shirts, all mm -hmm. like the fucking gym shit you wanted when you were in grade school. I was like seventh or eighth grade. And then our whole scheme was you go back down to the jewelry area and the cologne area, and uh and you would just no. you would just pretend that you were perusing mm -hmm. and then you take all of these items off the hangers obviously and they would just be draped over your arm like a fucking mater d right and then they had these little uh, benches just outside of the the entrance to macy's and i would sit on the bench for like three minutes and i would just wait to see if you had a tail or not yeah, yeah. and if no <laughs> if you could shake them if oh nobody... i didn't know i was just waiting for my mom yeah, i don't yeah. know why, where who yeah where's yeah. the snack bar i and think she's I outside head... yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then i would just walk to like the first uh, first l exit you know, maybe nice. stop by an Annie Ann's. I'm like, oh shit, I forgot. Shout out to Annie Ann's. And then fucking, and then yeah. fucking beat it. We did it like once a month. It's yeah. true. The best way to rob a place is to just totally Mr. Magoo it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. You just, just, yeah. just confuse. Yeah, that's why old checking. people get away with it. Yeah. They just pretend they, oh shit, cool. I fucking, I lost my wife in a car accident. I can't remember much <laughs> yeah. after that. I'm traumatized. Anyway, you want this, <laughs> <laughs> you want these car hearts back? <laughs> They're just stealing shit that they don't wear. They just are fucking so clueless. Oh. <laughs> All right, this guy, I do it as a bit, but this guy came in uh, with a stolen credit card. Uh, and when he swiped his card, like a lot of, like, uh, when you swipe your card, your name comes, like a lot of retail places, it'll say, like, fucking Chris O'Connor, and you, like, thank them. Like, oh, thank you. We used to have to say thank you. I hope you had an outstanding day. Please rate, review, and fucking subscribe or whatever, you know? <laughs> uh, that's how you get so good with it, AYG. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all this. Yeah. Trying to upsell people to be like, oh, you want to open a Macy's credit card? You can save 10 bucks a day, but it'll fuck you in the ass for the next eight years. Oh, like, they got me, God. you fucking cocksuckers. Yeah, they got me too. Um, dude, this is how fucked up that place is. In order to get my uh, employee discount, I had to put it on a Macy's credit card. What? Yeah. So it just, dude, I, I just paid it off like, oh my I, God. Maybe two years ago, three years. <laughs> that was in college. Yeah. So, so wait, it was, the discount was what? Like 50%, 30%, 40%? 20, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it was like, I, but, you well, but then with the juice, I was ended up paying even more money. Oh my God. <laughs> so juice. why don't they call me after, dude, I just, I, been, I ducked them for years. Just yeah. fucking icing them, icing them, whatever. And I'm like, yeah. I, I'm like, I right, listen, I'm, I don't have any fucking money. Like, I don't if know. If anyone, to tell you. If, yeah. if I can say anything to, 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 Teach someone a lesson. If you're in your 20s in college, you're taking on a lot of credit card debt. Don't pay it back, unless you're trying to. Unless you're trying. To, I kind of agree with this. Yes, because you have hear, seven years. Hear me out. It'll clear out. I paid back thirty four thousand dollars of debt by uh -huh. the time I was twenty eight years old. It still fucks up your debt. Sure. Because some of them went into. Credit, yeah. I had to. I had to get this like third party creditor. Yes. A situation where they talk down to like zero to 6% from 19 or 23, yeah. but you're still getting a little nick on your, your, yeah, yeah, yeah. your fucking score, yeah, your yeah, credit yeah. score. So he was like, dude, you know, I talked to this accountant years later and he's like, just go bankrupt. Yeah. He's like, unless you're buying a house oh, yeah, yeah. in seven years, it, it just doesn't wiped fucking out. matter. Yeah. I yeah. could have just not clean. paid anything back. Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah. nowadays, See, seeing how the world straighten us, fuck them. World straighten us. This is a guy, yeah. That's... It would be sick to operate just like a, like a startup. You'd be like, I can't pay, but I'll give you some equity. 
Yeah. <laughs> I'll give you three points on Kippy Industries moving forward. Yeah. Um, you're going to want, yeah, you're going to want in on this. You're want you in don't on know this. now. Yeah, yeah. But they, you can these... spend the next 10 years grabbing for pennies from me. Or you can get out on the ground floor. That's a pretty good idea. You're pretty good at this. Great yeah. yeah. You take, you have to be a psychopath to come up with something. I know. <laughs> yeah, You're did. delivering it so cold and calmly, yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> they did me- immediately called Dog the Bounty Hunter. So you can't, you, you, you couldn't pay with cash or your own credit card at all? What do you mean? To get 20% off? No. And I didn't have any money. They were paying me $8 an hour. Dude, I was working fucking three hours a day from like 5 to 8.30 or something, making $8 an hour, and I had to drive there and park my car for like $28. <laughs> I was losing money on the shift. Oh it was fucking God. stupid. And then I was just buying... Were was you a, in college or was this... I was in college. Yeah, I was at Temple. And I would just fucking... Is it the same program your your cousin... No, 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 no. I was just like an employee. Like, I was oh, okay. just like a fucking What was the program? Employee. Do you know? Like, what were the It's benefits? called like... It's called their... It's... Uh, just an internship. No, it's like a management... You like... They teach you the idea, I guess, behind it is like it's the best management, one of the better management programs. Once you go through it, like Wawa has the same thing. They really <laughs> You're do. You're not selling it. I know. You're going down. Uh, <laughs> you know, Pep Boys has a very similar situation. <laughs> you no, know, Gary Barbera on the boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> the great boy. Northeast. I guess. <laughs> In beautiful Roxborough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, See, they're doing it to you. They're doing the equity thing to you. Because they're like, we're gonna pay you eight dollars and twenty cents an hour. Sure. But our management program. Sure. When people get out of that it. That was the idea of like, you, but like you could, I go anywhere and like, for like pharmaceutical, you could be like a manager or a project manager, like that kind of shit, whatever. At least he, I mean, he did it for like six weeks and was like, yo, fuck this and left. Um, but. <laughs> Racked up 50 grand with the Macy's. I yeah. did, dude. So they finally, I th- years, dude, I ducked how much did, How much did you build up? Eight, it was eight, it started at 800 bucks was my bill because I had okay. an $800 credit limit. I was just buying underwear and shit, like yeah. instead of doing laundry. <laughs> essentials. Or like, dude, I would, buy, essentials. I would buy an outfit on like, if I worked Friday night until like, you know, 10 o'clock or whatever, and all my boys were out at like an old city or whatever. Yeah. 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 You know, shout out to Lucy's <laughs> Hat Shop. <laughs> Lucy's rules. Yo, Lucy's was a good time. Yeah, they put a lot of gremlins out of Lucy's. <laughs> oh, man. That was, a, yeah. <laughs> that back bar was something special. But instead of going home, I would just fucking buy an outfit like a fucking you know like a blazer and yeah. new jeans Turtleneck. yeah you know, I, fucking, <laughs> I was stunting dude. <laughs> dude i've done that at that macy's many times yeah dude yeah and i would just like leave my clothes at work if i didn't like pick them up in the more well i don't know fucking whatever i didn't i think i was just a fucking alcoholic is what it was and yeah. didn't care um and then i finally <laughs> it was thousands it got to thousands of dollars and then they they it, what the charge is just on interest just on interest and then they started selling it Right, because they're going, oh, this is bad debt. We're yeah. going to clear it off our books. We're going to sell it to Chris O'Connor Industries <laughs> for six hundred bucks. So now Chris O'Connor's going. I just need to get six hundred bucks out. So instead of paying the eight hundred or the fifteen hundred or two thousand that you owe, just give us seven fifty. We'll make one fifty on yeah. it. And then they sold it. They just for years. Yeah, they're just bad debt. And those companies kept selling it and selling it and selling it. Yeah. Finally, the guy called, and I, I had maybe like a thousand dollars in my bank account. Like yeah. I just deposited a check or something. And I was like, what do you, I finally answered. I'm like, what do I owe you? Yeah. And he's like, $63. I'm like, <laughs> $63. And you never call me ever again. He goes, yeah. I'm like, let's do it right yes, now. Dude. Take my $63. He hung up the phone. He was like, fuck. I, <laughs> <Dude, more>. yeah. <laughs> I should have said 600. I know for sure. For sure. Well, this is another reason not to pay back. Cause if you have a record of paying debt back, especially at that high level, mm-hmm. when they go to sell to other creditors, they're, they're going to go, I'll buy it. So what they yeah. do is they'll say, here's $10,000 of debt. This motherfucker has a track record of being a fucking idiot. Yeah, he's a re- yeah, he's yeah. Gonna, yeah, he's a re 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 <laughs> <laughs> I did that last episode. He's a fucking re 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 So they'll buy it like pennies on the dollar. Yeah. So they'll say, here's $10,000 worth of debt. You give us five grand. You can have this. If you get 10000 from them. And I saw a 60 minute special on it because I'm fucking aging. Oh, pop Yeah. yeah. And it's a big scam where there's no regulations around threatening. There's no, like, these people can call you. <laughs> I think there are. No, yeah, they're not. No, there for no, sure they're... is, dude. That's in, like, multiple statutes. No, you, you can threaten anybody. It's not a yeah. crime. Yeah. Well, anyway, I had a job. Well, I'll find them on a highway. Do braces. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I swear to God. You're on the, nuts, dude. On the special. You're a little sure re 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 On the special, it said... I was gonna say program. <laughs> I was watching my program. On, on Do you have your readers on, Dad? <laughs> you fucking lunatic. They said watching my stories. They said this is what made the regulations. I think maybe that's what happened. Probably they started the regulations because <laughs> no, it, no, no, it was you, fucking. It was just freewheeling maniacs gone, and it's like a boiler room of like your best friends gone. 
Charlie, fucking bite this old lady's neck and <laughs> tell her we're going to take your car. Tell her you're going to fuck her. her. Yeah, yeah, and that's yeah. what they would say. They're like, mm-hmm. we know where you live. We'll take your car. We'll, we'll call your job. Say you're fucking deadbeat. And people give up the money. Yeah. So they're gambling on your debt from another creditor. Sure. And buying it for pennies on the dollar and seeing what they can get out of it. That's interesting. What an interesting loophole for threatening. Yeah. Yeah. I think because he like, just wants to do the threatening. Yeah. He's like, so you're saying if I work at this place, I can tell an old woman I'll fucking kill her? Well, think about yeah, it. Yeah, it's, it's like, like if you were just like, look, if it was just a thing on the street, right, you just didn't get along with someone and you're like, hey, I tell you what, I'm going to fucking come to your house. Yeah. I'm going to take your car. Yeah. I'm going to take your home. I'm going to take everything in it. That would be a crime. But if you do say it through like no through like legal means, I'm going to take. You could also use wrong. illegal jargon through legal means. Right. So right. it's like these. There, there's a subsect of the population as that long will as you say forever <laughs> will forever fall for these fucking overseas scams. Right. Sure. They're gonna send you money for no reason. But mm-hmm. if you have a reason to pay money back and you threaten them with like I'm gonna take your fucking couch, you know, like little couch that Raymore Flanagan mm-hmm. couch you love, it's gone. You know Henry, we know you're Henry, your husband, we know where he works. We're going to insult him. We're going to fucking get him yeah. fired. You could say whatever the fuck you want. People go, "All right, all right, how much?" Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like we could split the difference. If you do it tonight, split the difference. For then they probably spent $20 on $10,000 of debt yeah. cuz she's been in the cycle for 10 years. You go, "All right, 3,000." She go, "All right, how do I do?" Deal. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you do that, they have they have fucking lists and oh, lists yeah, yeah, and yeah, lists. Yeah, yeah. Of deadbeats like me, but I paid it back. <laughs> so don't fucking pay it back, and, and just wait seven years. This couch fine. is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Come get my fucking couch <laughs> over my dead body, <laughs> dude. Yeah, you do see people who have built up armor from like experiencing shit like that all the time. Yeah, and that's why anytime someone's like, "I'm gonna take your shit," they're like, "Come get it." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just wait, like yeah, inviting people. Yeah. They know nothing's gonna happen. Yeah. Anyway, your special. Let's talk about your special real quick because oh, we get Jesus. arguments about like fucking yeah. people oh, doing plugs care. at the end. So oh, I didn't care. Yeah, well, uh, me and uh, H. Foley just released a project on YouTube for All You Garbage. It's a compilation of our live shows and us on the road over the past year. Check it out. All yeah, it's garbage. great. Yeah, it's great. great. We've had both yeah. you guys on. I'm yeah. sure a lot of your listeners are aware. Yeah. Uh, we've had both of you guys on. I think you did it twice. You did it once. Yeah. yeah, yeah we it's get fucking back. wonderful, man. Yeah, listen to the podcast. Watch the special. You know my favorite part? You know, I, I see you guys do your magic all the time. Mm-hmm. There was there, there's a, 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 a screenshot, a quick a screen grab of... Uh, why? Why do you I see do guys? It? I see you guys do your magic all the time. <laughs> anyway. I, <laughs> well, yeah, there's a rabbit in my yeah, sleeve, yeah, all right, Tommy? Know, goddamn. It's true. It's a parlor. Somehow, well, somehow like, through the compliment, you made it shitty. <laughs> yeah, classic Pope. <laughs> <laughs> all I wanted to say was I'm not going to give away to bits. You guys were great on stage. I've seen it so many fucking times. <laughs> It just got worse somehow. No, no, I mean, I mean yeah, like, it sounds like we've been bothering them with this. No, no, no. <laughs> like, like we've been doing it in your bed. Every I've time, I, it, every yeah. time I wake up to take a no, piss, these yeah. fucking guys are here. I mean, every time I go to a comedy show, all of a sudden they introduce you guys. I gotta watch this all over again. <laughs> I'm saying the structure of the show. Enough it's already. Really, and we 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 understand. It's gonna be guaranteed laughs. Go check out this special. <laughs> 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 fucking no, Gary Barbera just, over here. Let, let me yeah. just dismount you, Fox. <laughs> extra, extra. It, it's fun this way <laughs> there was a dude in a full leg cast on a oh, dude, well, those on, a, the... on a hand car <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> riding a scooter yeah. waiting in line at the new uh, at, at gotham, at yeah, gotham. Yeah, he's scooting in let me tell you something yeah those if are you... those are a bad luck Yo, dude. dude i don't care if it was a hot a, any sort of ang- accident that's bad i've said this yeah many times those are the trashiest form of if you have an injury yeah. stay the fuck home yeah. until that heals mm-hmm. i don't care if it's a, a little a sling from bowling injury sure a fucking like you get you get something that major stay home I'll fuck it you got Grubhub Seamless all know, these things you, know can, you're doing. you can order booze in stay the fuck up you look like an asshole you do also the one knee scooter it's bad is un- uh, get crutches get a wheelchair get fucked yeah 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 it's like what are you wheeling around you think you look confident yeah. in that I also don't get you're it. in New York People are buzzing around you all the time you the only people you're beating are the Asians oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah 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 doing bunny hops <laughs> Well, like, <laughs> it's also, too, it's like, my, my thing is, like, your toes are just out. Like, yeah. your toes, yeah. you don't have a sock on. on like, yes. I just see your dirty, ashy, yeah. flaky toes because yeah. you, haven't, you haven't been taking care of them. Yeah, I couldn't change socks in public. I couldn't, like, sit down in what? an airport and, like, put a, take my sock off and put a sock on. What? For that 30 seconds no, of do either, yeah. insecurity, feeling like someone's like, look at this fucking scumbag. Mm-hmm. Look at this absolute Yeah, they need ball. to get over that. 
No, it's they don't. You need Everyone's to get over taking em. your socks off in public. Yeah, no, I'm not doing it all the time. But if I if I had a situation, well, well, well clearly you do it a lot enough to, to take this stance. No, yeah. no, it's just it's I, like when I make fun of somebody for like going Duke Duke in public. It's like you should never, unless you're eating raw chicken popsicles, you should be never. <laughs> You should be never in line for the bathroom in any public situation. Grow the fuck up. Know your bowels. I understand. Unless it's a boy, that emergency happens. Then you, and then you get somebody like Chris going, well, there are certain circumstances where... I means- shit in public every time. I got to shit, I'm going. I try not to I don't care. Do I don't it. care how yeah. disgusting it is. You'll crack I gotta the door shit. open when there there's seven nothing- people in a Starbucks waiting for you and you just got like a... a- thousand percent. Oh my God. I hate you having your to time? shit. Or are you like, I'm going to get in and get I out? I never take my time. I always shit quick. <laughs> okay. I, I bet I could shit quicker than you piss. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's, yeah, I mean, let's do it. That's let's, not a good throw thing. Down the, uh, you threw down the gauntlet. My God. It's not good to like brag about your Clock asshole me. looking like a manhole. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> like one of those Star Wars doors. <laughs> no, because I, I, I wait till I'm ready. I get in there. I go. I, yes. don't, I don't need to but sit do, around and wait have, for a shit to come. Don't you also have a system where like you know what time you usually go in the day? All the time. Yeah. Yeah. So t- p- plan your Macy's dates around <laughs> getting your shit out. Sure. I yeah. can't go at 10 in the morning. Sorry, honey. I got something to do. Yeah. 10.05, we can head oh, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I can't let it interfere with my schedule. Do you ever shit on a plane? Yeah. Never. I just had to do that recently. Done it. Oh, my Flying God. Flying back from Skank I've shit, I've shit on a plane. I've shit on a train. Dude, I would chisel the window. <laughs> in a box with a box. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> The only thing I I won't shit on <laughs> planes, trains, and automobiles. The shit shit edition. I won't shit on a bus, and that's because it's too shaky. No, it's because the, the bus doesn't have a. It does, they haven't figured out bus shits yet. <laughs> oh, we got our best guys <laughs> on the case. <laughs> no, they don't. Wait. Nobody's working on it. Wait. Somehow, every time you I take think a Temple shit on has the a bus, business class. <laughs> <laughs> Macy's Macy's management program. They're cracking the case over there. No. What do you mean, like the amenities? No, no, they just like when you take a shit on a bus, it stinks up the whole plane or a whole bus every time. <laughs> yeah, what what do you think a plane does? No, a plane shoots it out. One and drops time it I in waited somewhere. in line for like 15, 20 minutes. Wait, do you think with- it, it doesn't shoot it out over the sky? I, I don't know. I haven't looked into it recently. <laughs> no, I mean, that's for sure. They don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> the kids are just in a pool like, <laughs> like ah, that, that would be fucking would the that would be no, crazy. They don't, they don't. Nobody but, would live within a thousand but, miles of an airport if that was the case. But the, bu- but the plane sucks it into a containment <laughs> yeah, system. And it's, and it's, like it's an a, ejection. It's like a Ghostbusters yeah. thing, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Or a vacuum. <laughs> yeah. That's how That's little it. he cleans. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, honey, where's that Ghostbusters uh, wand? <laughs> <laughs> where's, that, where's that thing I throw on the floor and all the spirits go into it? Yeah. That's how vacuuming and cleaning should be. You should just throw that into the middle oh, of the room, God, hit the I'm button. It's so it should hot. open up and fucking. I mean, <sighs> the, the, there was a dude. I waited maybe 15 minutes with like five other people waiting for the bathroom. He brought his briefcase in and he opens the door. And the briefcase was like next to the toilet or whatever. And he starts embarrassingly, as he should. Uh, if I watched him go back to his seat, I would have probably said something. Mm-hmm. You know, like my dad would. You sure. got to learn them. You got to learn them. Say, look, listen, bro. You know, you're, you're ruining the, the back seven rows. Yeah, it's bad. Total smash, dude. <laughs> Why did you wait in line? For the bathroom? Yeah. Because I thought he was a normal human being that would only take a minute. Instead, oh, he, he was, was a in, savage oh, taking a shit. But you were next in line. Yeah. Yeah, you're pot committed oh at that point. God. Especially if there's people yeah. behind you, but you're going to, you yeah. can't get by them to go back to your also, seat. Also, I was timing it like this is a good, t- like, I don't go right when the plane takes off right, to go yeah. TT. I go, I wait like to when everybody T-T? starts. Was that? TT. TT, yeah. okay. I wait till everybody falls asleep because they're all fucking minions. They're all old dickheads. And they all go, <laughs> they all start snoring. What? I don't like people that snore and fall asleep on planes. Don't you snore? I snore in my own public, private place. <laughs> in my public, yeah, in my public park bench. Yeah, I sleep when I shit. Uh, you won't. I won't sleep on a plane either. I can't. I can't. I'll try. I'll get drunk enough to where I'm. I'll, I might not out. I might. Yeah. I might doze off. Yeah, I'll do like party but, boy type hours the night before in any city. And I can. I get, still can't sleep. I still. Yeah. No, I think no, no. I'll have like three, four beers at the airport bar. Before well, dude, getting on the four plane. IPAs and a burger at an airport bar yeah. is nothing better. It should put you out. It should. And, it does. and I get on the plane. I'll do a whiskey like. My wife was living in Germany. We were like flying back and forth like a bunch. Like, How far I've, is that flight? Uh, from New York, yeah, like six and a, six. And you never slept on that. Six and change there. Dude, the one time I got fucking, I had it got. I think it got pushed by like an hour, but I was already there. So I'm like, dude, I'm at the bar like four deep, and they're like, oh, it's not taking off for another, not boarding for like another hour, and I'm like, fucking four more. So oh, I'm like eight boy. or nine IPAs, a burger, fries. 
I think a <laughs> shot of whiskey too. Is this the dump? No. And I'm like, all right. So I get on the plane, and uh, I think I was like premium economy or, so, or it was like pre bu- not business or whatever, but like I got a drink somehow before the flight took off a whiskey and i'm wow. like all right let's go did that and i passed out for like an hour and i wake up and we're still on the ground oh, in New York. No. and i was like this fucking suck. i was <laughs> about to get off the out. plane dude now i was about to yell over. bomb yeah, yeah and just fucking like get me off the- i can't sit here for eight <laughs> hours fucking hung over oh, see i can't stay awake on a plane really yeah, yeah i sleep this doesn't I, surprise I get me. like no deep. you probably you like- probably need eyeballs on you to feel comfortable <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I get like REM sleep on planes. <laughs> That's why he always has a strange. Sir, what do you do? You're an accountant. You mind staring at me for the next five and will, a half hours? I will say <laughs> it's the only way I can go night night. <laughs> anyway, my name's Carl. I will say that I, it's few times I feel more <laughs> outraged than I, when I go to sleep and I'm getting a good sleep on the plane. I wake up and we're still on the tarmac. Oh, it's bad. It's like what have you been doing? So as mm-hmm. soon as you sit down and you hear the engines, you're like uh, a baby in the back seat. Yeah. And you just go out. Yeah. Oh my. God. I have too much anxiety. Yeah. I'm not like a. Me too. I'm not afraid to fly, but like, this is doing math all the time. Yeah. And it's like. I also convince myself it's like the air pressure and shit. I know it's probably not. No, I think it's your anxiety. Like, it's my anxiety, and, and that, especially the if elevation. you're coming off a bender. Yeah. It's like, dude, that booze anxiety yes. and whatever other yeah. you know extracurricular yeah. activities you were doing. Yeah. That shit. Yeah, yeah. I, I've had like every bachelor party I've ever flown to and flown back has been that Sunday has been like the worst day of my life. Yeah. Just sweating. Like in a middle seat or something, Ugh. just fucking anxiety's running. Yes, yeah, yeah. for four days. Yeah, that'll get me. There are there are times where I'm super hungover coming back, where I have trouble sleeping. That's the only. But time he sleeps on like, his back. Yeah, I do. So sleep. do I. You do, and yeah. you still can't sleep on a plane. No, it's the anxiety, man. What is it? What about the elevation? So it's like, not the elevation of the plane, elevation of the seat. I can't. There's no unless oh you're my against God. the window. Well, as soon as the as soon as the stewardesses fucking... get out of my, you know, I go. Business. I recline. Are you like a? Oh, I twitch. I can't. Yeah, yeah I'm. A, I'm a big twitcher. Yeah, that bothers me too. I elbow the chick the last the, the last shit one out I was of me, in. Yeah. It bothers oh, me too. Dude, I wake up like big, that way too. <gasps> big yeah. time oh, too. Oh yeah. She got it right in the fucking taking bicep a gasp bar, of air. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, well, that'll happen to me too, and I'll go like. Ah! Yeah. And I'll look at the guy next to me, and he'll pretend he didn't hear it. It's just like, dude, can we be people? Now I'm stressed. Yeah. You're gonna, people, like, can you start being? What a am I? Yeah. What am I doing? He's being a guy. You're yeah, weird, yeah. a wacko. <laughs> no, no, I'm on no. this. I'm, I'm on his side. Yeah. No, I'm just a person who's sleeping. He's now making me feel weird. No, you're having night terrors. Yes. In the air. There's <laughs> you're, there's no, a difference yeah. between a guy nodding off <laughs> and someone screaming and elbowing a sixty year old no, wife. It's thirty four B. It's wrong not to tell someone it's okay. When they wake I'll up agree like with that. that. You got to come. It's, you know, be nice. It's nice to if be the nice. The person next to me goes like, ah, I'm like, ah, it's fine. It happens to me too. It's fine. We're yeah, all going to die anyway, <laughs> sir. <laughs> you woke up just in I time. I put a bomb on this plane. <laughs> <laughs> Any last wishes? <laughs> no, I do. I, I am surprisingly okay with dying on a plane. Oh my God. You're a wacko. Dude. I think I would be because it, 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 anytime I got on a plane, I was always like, you know what? I always I would I like a, to die on a plane. I need a couple in me, and I go like, "All right, yeah, of course. I can let go of, of this. Course. If I go down, I'll go down." I need a couple in me. Yeah, I no. make sure I got a. I make sure I got a, a sig yeah. too. Well, every if night we go after down, I have my like six beer, I start going, "It'll be all right if I die right now." Yeah, that's where I go. All right, I can let go. Yeah. I just need six beers, yeah. and I'll let six go of life. Oh. That's all I need. I can go. All yeah. right, I had a pretty good run. That's a good move. Instead of oxygen masks coming down, they should have like whiskey, th- yeah, tunnels, an ice luge or something. Everybody just takes it easy. Yeah. yeah, See, yeah I'm yeah. more about any death that's hey, Ma, not my fault. Hey, everything's going to be fine. We're chilling. Yeah, yeah. I take care of my kids. But the thing I'd be worried about is, like, uh, the ride down. How long is that, do you think? That's a couple minutes, probably, I right? Mean, I've seen a few. Or at least, I, yeah, at least two minutes. It could be a while. I said this before. McKeever used to say, <laughs> while I was terror. on the... He would know, like, when I was taken off, and he would send me gifts of planes oh, crashing fuck that. on the plane. Dude, because for a while, I was, like, really bad. Mm-hmm. And he sent me this one where it's, like, it's almost like this. I think it might be, in, like, an army size, um, you know, planes that carry, like, troops and, and fucking like a C-130 tanks. or something. Dude, they're yeah. giant. This thing takes off. It gets to, like, here, and then you see it goes... Oh god! And the whole—I mean, it was just a beautiful explosion. Oh my god! So you either have that option, yeah, not getting off the ground and just being a, like a fucking bicycle. Sure, well, that's like it's like ninety percent. If something's though. gonna happen, it happens in the first ten minutes and the last ten yeah. minutes or whatever. But if you blow everything up, else is fucking easy peasy. Thirty thousand yeah. feet in elevation. If you're on like a fucking seven thirty-seven, it's only gonna take that's two a, minutes. Yeah, that's a long two minutes though. 
Dude, you ever listen to those? Think about like, the lights flashing and oh my god, people dude. crying. No, they Scream wouldn't do that. Crying. Too. They wouldn't do people lights People throwing flashing. up. That's what they do in the movies, Chris. No, they... <laughs> you ever saw Police Academy? No, no, no. They'd... Doesn't even have a plane crash <laughs> yeah. in it. They'd be like, hold tight, you know. Did you ever listen to those like flight recordings? No, yes, I can't dude. do that. Yes, that's, dude. That's, I have a big one. It's crazy. Too much those, Catholic guilt. Those guys are like, they're like, the, uh, there's one where they like lost hydraulic pressure in one of the wings. I don't even like talking about like this. one of the engines. Like fucking. Well, we're here. We go. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm flying tomorrow, by the way. Yeah. These guys, before they crash, all the pilots like there was you like to make up with your father. We're tonight. gonna have to cut this. <laughs> they're they're flying. I don't like, jerk off on days I fly either. Really? Yeah. Really? Catholic what, guilt. It's bad. Luck? Just bad. Bad mojo. I don't want to be. Put, yeah, I don't want to be putting it out there. No, it's out Wait of your hands. Yeah. Hold on, Chris. We're gonna get back to yours. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. So. Oh, yeah. The or more, someone I know is flying. Really? Like in my family? Yeah. <laughs> Have you ever said that's this before? insane? I said it. I mean, not on stage. I think I said it on a. I probably said it on like on our so Patreon. So if you something. get a call from Aunt Carol and she's like, "I'm going to Florida in the morning," you're like, "I fuck, I can't beat off." Yeah, I would get it done then. I'd be like, "All right, enjoy your trip. <laughs> <laughs> I got you from above," and like you know, I'll I'll, I'll snap one out. You know. <laughs> oh my god, you'd so be devastated if. It depends on how you know how the anxiety is running that so day. So you have to know their you have to know when they land. I got a yeah, I got a so I, you can't I got a control panel in my bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's like the fucking tower, dude. I got everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tracking them oh, all. Dude. This is Kippy and Flight Control. <laughs> <laughs> it's, oh, just, it's just pictures of their head flying <laughs> over the country. <laughs> Uncle Neil landed. <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy. Yeah, how how quickly? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, a jerk off tower oh so <laughs> <laughs> I think we found the name. <laughs> That's disgusting to think of anyone who's ever asked you if you arrived safe was just waiting to jerk off. <laughs> that is so funny. Um, that's why I was telling my mom, like, hey, text me when you get there, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I don't that's care what time it is. Let me know. Nothing to do with their safety. You should just build up with gum in your balls. I got to get rid of all this gum. Oh. Oh, how's the Wi-Fi in there? Can you pay? For, I'll pay for your Wi-Fi. Just let me just, know as just, soon yeah. as you The second land. you touch down. Oh, my God. <laughs> not when you get to the gate. Not when you get the luggage. Yeah. Second your t- wheels on the ground. Oh, my Where God. Where have you been? <laughs> <laughs> I just said it was confusing. You, <laughs> yeah. you were flight 7480, right? <laughs> you're, you're calling the airlines. <laughs> Denise Can there? I get a confirmation? <laughs> flight E700 fell. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Can you, can you fuck while someone's in there? Yeah, that's different because that's not... Oh, okay. It's you not know, on you. It's not on me. That's not, de- that's not where devious. Did you, where did this start? I don't know, man. It's, a, it's like, I don't know. <laughs> Mas- you didn't grow up with that? Oh, like the shame, the masturbation shame? No. Not no one's ever. I was talking to Foley about this. No one's ever been like, "Don't do that." It's just that fucking that underlying no, shame it, it or is anxiety. Disgusting. What is jerking off? Shut up. What are it's you talking beautiful. about? I mean, it's disgusting. It should be approached with a certain amount of shame. You so no, you come, that's cr- I don't shamed when you come. Everybody does what? it. So why should there be shame? Is this why you walk around the apartment with this fucking gloom? What? Because I'm jerking off? Because you're always beating off somewhere? No, I just don't think... I don't like people who are like into jerking off, celebrating jerking off. You say you like me because I am into it, boy. (laughs) (laughs) No, you don't. You look at thumbnails and jerk off. Yeah, I still jerk off. Yeah, but it takes two seconds. I'm talking about people who like... They get oh, like, lotion like out. They, like yeah, long yeah. Beat and they're, they're like, no, this is important. They buy a toy and a thing. It's like, no. The people do. I've never met. I don't know. I mean, yeah, that's... That's that is crazy. That's disgusting. But it's not about shame. Have some shame. This is an emergency. You got to get this thing out of you. So you're shaming people that that treat it like a professional and sensual like a hobby. Like a, it's an event. Yeah, it's like it I don't want you to feel like, bad about doing it, but I also don't want you it's not to be celebrated. I see what you're saying. You know, under the radar. But some yeah. people you don't do have you. Uh, partners, so it's like this is their thing. They get they yeah. fucking yeah. they get in a bathtub, they get a giant dildo out, a big Yeah, so that should be in the back of your head. At That's all a times. date night for them, though. They don't have a significant other. That's the other problem. Knock it's them like, around. learn a skill. Fucking. Oh, you want them to do carpentry interest- when they want to come? Well, it may ha- might help you get laid. <laughs> you know? <laughs> anytime, anytime you're jerking off, you're not fucking. <clears throat> That's a problem. 
That's not a problem. Sure, but sometimes jerking off. If you're sexually active and you're you're having sex, let's say once a day, which is a lot for most people, you still you you could jerk off in the morning to get your your day jump started. You're saying that's gross. <laughs> your day jump. Yeah, no, I'm. I look. Yeah, that's a utility jerk. <laughs> I, I I which I appreciate. Yeah. You know, but you shouldn't. Be, but if I you shouldn't down, be, if you I should be a little down, bit embarrassed that you need that. I'm uh, not at all. The older I get, no. not that I'm old, but like I, I I'm just like. It's a bodily function. Yeah. I need to either clear my head or, this not, you know, whatever. This is the religious bullshit that he's putting in his own skull. Yeah. Yeah. I, there shouldn't I, be shame. It's like, yeah, I, I need this to be a better person I or whatever. I need to make yeah. coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't need this for anything higher than just to get it's up primitive. and be excited. It's blowing my nose. It, re- it, it releases a sense of endorphins that's just like doing 35 jumping jacks. I'm yeah, gonna yeah, be- yeah. blast off yeah. and then get up with a sense of like... Hmm. But the fact that New it's day. jerking off and not something productive should it hurt you. Okay. But that could put you in a position to be productive. No, it could. It could. Well, okay, what about video gaming? What Is that productive? It? Could be. You really come with Uncle Tommy we're, vibes we're, here. We're, we're, and how about those video games you've been, <laughs> you've been fucking buried your head in? We're in the research phase right now. Yeah, we'll we see are. We are. Yeah, 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 yeah. You want in? You want to buy some equity? <laughs> <laughs> That's insane. Also, Kev, the funniest no, I, thing. <laughs> so where do you think it started? I said just that underlying fucking Catholic guilt, I guess. I don't know. I never really put thought into it. And then I... Like teachers and shit telling us we shouldn't be masturbating. It's, not it's a, I, I don't... I can honestly don't think anybody's ever been like, don't masturbate. Yeah, like, no one's ever no said that. No one's ever said that. Did you go to Catholic school? No. Oh, okay. But like... They used to say that. It's I, the Irish cat. I mean, like, it's... Oh, right. Just the it's ingrained. Yeah, it's just like the shame, the guilt, the fucking, you know, all of that shit. Yeah, no one's ever told you not to, but no one's ever asked you to do it in front of them. True. That's not true. <laughs> true. I think that that's, is true. That's I the, mean, girls. Girl, girlfriends and girls. Have asked me to do it in front of them? Jerk off in front of them? Yeah, I, I, I was Many lying. Times. That actually has happened to me once. It's a sexual fantasy. For a, you I don't wouldn't want to grow a diddle in front of you while you jerked off? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought, okay, that's more mutual... I thought yeah, I well, never just had a girl Lucy like, hey, you. hit it. You know what I mean? Like, play the hits. Yeah. No, I never just had a girl. Yes. Yes. <laughs> mutual. The, you know? The I, yeah. There was never just a girl like, all right, let me see you masturbate. Like, that. I don't, that's not a scene. I don't think anybody wants to. Yeah. I don't think that gets anybody going. It definitely doesn't get my wife going. Yeah. yeah. I, d- I denied the request. Really? When yeah. they said hit it? I was you like, said yeah, no? you don't want to see this yeah. from that. I'm not giving you that. Was she planning yeah. on doing anything? Or was just you? If you Solo turned her, If it turned her on, you still wouldn't do it? No. If it turned her on, I would do it. Well, that's why she's asking. No, but they're not. That's what I'm saying. No one's ever asked, so I don't oh, think it's right. turning He's anybody on. He turned down someone asking him, Yeah, yeah. Which means it would have like... turned her on and would have got to another level and it would have been sexual. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. And fun and exciting for her. Maybe. You're being selfish. Well, I just don't like, you know, I don't know. My my sex with me I, is like a, I'm like a Potemkin village. I, I can't let you look from a distance at what I'm doing. You know what I mean? I didn't get any of that. And the <laughs> fact that you put a button on it with, you know what I mean? It's like, no, I don't know <laughs> what any, I don't know what any of that means. Once an episode, he drops I a only, shit. I a only Potemkin want village? Yeah. I, don't, I feel like I do know what that is, but I don't. It, Potemkin village was like <laughs> when uh, one of the czars in Russia went like around to see the country and be like, how good is our country doing? And they just like, every town they were about to go to, they like fixed up and made it nice. And then as soon as they left, they like made it but shitty back to again. Shambles, and then yeah. made the next town they were going to nice. That's kind of what it's like. I, I can't let you see the whole thing at once. Yeah. Because you're going to get an ugly picture. Sure. I want, you know, discreet angles. What about, uh, let's say you're three to six months in to the relationship? She's Look, already... I've jerked off in, some, in front of you. You want it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've done it before. I just want to be honest. I've jerked off in the car in front of somebody. <laughs> That's crazy. It's toll booth drive. Toll booth bus. There we go. Uh, there we yeah. go. We pulled yeah. this while driving. Yeah. yeah. I don't get that. Wait, so the girl was in the front seat and she's like, can you start beating off? She was yeah. the drunk. I she was like blowing me for a little bit. And all right. Then, and then yeah. I was like, all right, well, I'm going to jerk off. I, I would think the sh- blow job proceeds all like you were like, I was get, you finished by yourself, yeah. but right. you were she getting you were getting a yeah. blow job. Yeah. yeah. She didn't ask for that. Good. though. You, you put that on her. You were what? just like, I have to finish. Yeah. Yeah. You got I mean, yeah. 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 Wow. Once it gets. It was great. Know. It was pretty great. <laughs> it's pretty great. I'll probably do it again. Hopefully. Huh. Well, you're doing you're doing what we're not talking about. This is not what we're talking about. We're talking about like what? like a woman asking you to to sure 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 yeah that that, uh, that and you said that know. was wrong. But at this, I point, don't jerk off cool again. It's like I don't put it. I don't. <laughs> yeah, well, you have a backwards hat on or something. What do you mean? <laughs> it's not. I don't cool. put a lot of thought in. I don't have my glasses off. on me, babe. I can't do it. <laughs> like anytime, I like the Ray Bans in the car. 
anytime someone's like, I could look, I don't want I don't want a hand job. <laughs> You've heard this before. I don't want a hand job. I could jerk myself off better than they can. It's like 100%. What are you doing that you're that good at it? Practice every day. Yeah. 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 You, you know, know how you become good at a violin? You practice every day. Yeah. No, no, no. So it's and a whole girl game picks up the violin, my violin. I'm a violist. I'm a traveling violist with my bird. It's just some random ass girl's like, I never played this before. And she's like, <laughs> and then I take it. I'm like, Zee. that gets me excited. Huh? But a girl's like, let me play your violin. With your <laughs> mouth? Like, yeah. yeah. Use your mouth strings. No, no. <laughs> you don't like a hand job? No. What about you? It, I, I, have, I, have to, like, I have a bit about it. I do like hand jobs. Yeah. Hand jobs are the best. It's, it's hot when you're like, look, if you were just to bust in this door after late bar night. Yeah. And you start taking each other's clothes off while you're fucking making out. And it gets hot and heavy. And then she just starts, you know, it's like pulling a mower. It's like you're, you're just getting the fucking engine going. I need like three, four tugs. Everything's off. Mouth party. Sure, sure, sure. But I also like there's a thing that I like the attention of someone's like fucking just. God, you're so nuts. <laughs> what are you talking about? Just someone, someone it's really wanted link to the attention. That's yeah. what. That's I what, think that, I get it. I understand exactly. it. It's like getting but a massage. Like the fact that someone's like. It's like getting a massage. It's like you don't need to give anything back. They're they're focused on you feeling good and they're and they're doing it. That's I nice. got it. Yeah, yeah. No, I understand. You know I, I mean? understand it. Yeah, I just never. That's never clicked for me. <laughs> I'm more of like <laughs> you're touching nice my dick. Man, so yeah. just no, I get fucking... it. I'm understanding. You yeah. know what I mean. I'm not judgmental. So it's more. Well, the attention could still be there. I'd like eye contact with a blowjob is the greatest attention you can ever get. You've been going through my phone again. <laughs> <laughs> that gets old. There Kipperino no, going. <laughs> there's nothing better. Oh man, nothing better. Pretty cool. It's also an angle the women you never like. They never look that. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You never see someone stare at you from that, that, sure. that angle. Yeah, yeah, yeah but yeah. sustained eye contact, I start going like, no, am I going to go do something with my face that's going to ruin this? You know, yeah. you're very self conscious. Like if I'm like, like... <laughs> <laughs> here's what here's what's fucked up about you, dude. Flip your eyelids inside out or something. <laughs> <laughs> the ju- I don't know what to do. The juxtaposition of you knowing how strange you are and then also not knowing how strange you are. Yeah, is the yeah that's like the conundrum you're... of life for you. Well, there's well, well, sometimes you... where you're like, I'm weird. This and then you'll say something. Go. That's not weird. You're yeah. like, oh no, that yeah, was that, weirder, that than, was the weirder thing. than the other. You thing. conceded. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's her, like you you're, you're like it's a coin flip with you every time. <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah. You no, never know you, which one you're gonna get. Exactly. Can you spin in the wheel of fucking weirdos? Do you feel confident in your hot face? Like if you if someone's sucking your dick and they're giving you hot eyes, I'm can not you worried hot... about my face if all the sensation is coming from. If you're getting you know hot nerve eyes. endings you have on the tip of your bird, you shouldn't be thinking about your face at all. Yeah, I mean. What, what you if you're gonna no blow job, you're like you have no empathy whatsoever. You're giving like a fucking hot face. I, well, like if they're giving selfie? me a hot face, what you do feel I, like you gotta you gotta lean it. I gotta oh, give yeah. like a Ooh, yeah. <laughs> this is what porn actors. I gotta give do. smoky eyes back. You right? Smoky eyes. <laughs> <laughs> this is a nineties. Just... Hold on, let me get my mascara real quick. <laughs> my you can't just be down like looking you, at what's on, going do you, on. Do you, you think gotta so, give like a? Do you think smoky eyes are hot? <laughs> Dude, that is such trash. Sorry. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, sorry. That is like, that's the purest sign of a garbage chick. What, smoky eyes? Smoky eyes, eyes yeah. I like that's a girl that goes to like Deb for like a sequent dress. <laughs> 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 that's a girl that fills up on pretzels before a prom Like you're date. not attracted to that. What, smoky eyes? Yeah. He just got I real just told serious. You, no. <laughs> what? Yeah, in the 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> no, dude. Dude, that reaction was great. Yeah. You're so full no of wonder shit. you would wear a fucking cast out. <laughs> <laughs> I sprayed my wrist beaten off while my girlfriend watched. Dude, if you don't like smoky eyes, that's so funny. Yeah. I mean, are people still doing them? Of course, not, they right? can't. if they if they are, they're from fucking Kensington. <laughs> yeah. Every every hot chick in a like shout out to Teresa. <laughs> yeah. That's a northeast. If she's got hoop earrings, jailed bangs, smoky eyes. Yeah, we were we were a big hoop earring family. Me too. Even sometimes with the name in them. Yeah, we have so we have some like we have uh, Andrea or the we have some Puerto side? Ricans in our family as well, and it's yeah. like the big. Mm-hmm. Have the big gold hoop with the name on it. Yeah, that's their license. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Date of birth, eye color. <laughs> Officer, please. <laughs> oh, my registration's in here yeah, somewhere. She's like, what did I get pulled over for, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Dude, to go back to this thing, the last before we cut to the Patreon. <clears throat> the one, the casting, I just brought up the casting and I forgot, we, we never got to it, but I was at... Um, 
uh, some bar on like uh, doesn't matter Baltimore sure. Pike and Delco. Just, yeah. <clears throat> and this dude comes in with a cane and a neck brace. I'm like, again, like stay the fuck home, dude. You sure. Look like what are you an doing? Asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But as soon as he breaks the barrier towards the inside bar, it was Miller's Air ho- Ale House. Yeah. It's, it's a, it's a doors big joint. Barrier? No, no. It was just like multiple rooms where like there was a big dining room area, there's a middle bar, and there's like a back bar nice. that's enclosed. Like, that's yeah. like a good it's, it's like a, good It's setup. like a small chain yes. sports bar. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the back bar was just a square, square bar. You're only there to drink. There's no eating. Yeah. This dude ponies up through just continuing this bullshit. And then he breaks the barrier, and then just like 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 uh, what's his face in uh, Usual Suspects starts he just, walking okay. normal. He, yeah, he loses his limp. He, like, Neck brace puts comes the off. Up, yeah. up Taps like it. Yeah. He put, <laughs> hey, barkeep. <laughs> yeah, that's what he did. <laughs> Take two of your finest meads, please. <laughs> <laughs> he hung the cane on the on the back of one chair, and then he just went <laughs> insurance. Yeah, man. and he was like, Gary. <laughs> and then the dude came over, poured him a white wine, and he smoked like thirty white wines. And then wow. as soon as he got done, put it back on. Wobbled right out. Back to his sh- his got shtick. in his Chevy Cavalier and drove home. That's where my... That's uh, a bad my... motherfucker walking into a place like that ordering white wine. Yeah, dude. That's where I got my character for uh, oh, un- Uncle Daycare. Uh, Uncle Daycare. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, yeah. this dude was just trying to beat the system and he thought he was, if he was tailed. Uh-huh. Someone's taking pictures of him. He can't yeah. get his insurance money. Yeah. I saw a dude at Keenan's in North Wildwood, full on, like a dude, like a kid, full on neck brace, like partying, like... <laughs> Like doing shots and shit, <laughs> dude. Doing shots with a neck brace is ain't easy. You gotta like. <laughs> Why just take a straw, dude? Dude, if I saw a dude in a neck brace, but I'm like, brace, dude, go home. Take Come back sh- next weekend. Yeah, yes. Go, like, go to the go, go to the doctor. Anything. Go to the chiropractor. And also, no girl's gonna hook up with you. <laughs> no, and you're the right now. There's four thousand people yeah. or four hundred people in this bar going. Yeah. You're the guy. Look yeah. at the guy in the neck brace. <laughs> He's in a neck brace and an Iverson and jersey with no think, undershirt. This is what Chris thinks he looks like while getting a blowjob. Like, is this a dude in a neck brace? Yeah, that is what I look like. I don't care how her bad your neck hurts. Do not put on a neck brace. Yes. Dude, I'd, I'd rather my head fucking roll off my shoulders yeah. than go outside in public with a neck brace on. You'll never <laughs> catch me outside with a cast or any type of knee brace. Never it's so embarrassing. Never outside with a cast. <laughs> it's true. What? Yeah. With yeah. just a cast on your leg? Anything. Yeah, if I'm like gimping around town... Stay indoors. What? You got everything you need via phone. Food, drink. <laughs> no, no. I, I get some crutches. You would walk around with crutches? Yeah. Where I are like you crutches. Go? What? Where are you going to go? Anywhere. <laughs> Anywhere I don't I pick a spot. Like what? Six Flags. In your... <laughs> yeah, why? You can not You can ride the rides with a bum leg. <laughs> who's holding your crutches? I mean, it's designed yeah. for that. <laughs> <You know? laughs> who's holding who's, your crutches? Who's holding my crutches? Yeah. The guy who works in the thing. Oh, you're just going to yeah. lean Hey, buddy, watch my crutches. Yeah. Yeah. You put them in the same... This isn't real. You don't really think that, right? What? You're not going to jump on a roller coaster, have somebody hold, help you well, into... Well, I don't go riding roller coasters. I'm not a fucking loser. <laughs> How'd you, you break this... your leg? That's what I want to know. Ro- <laughs> roller coaster. How'd you break I've your never leg? broken a bone in my life. Oh, I've had a lot. But I but if I I've did... I've had a lot of cast. You wouldn't like me. I was out I haven't public. either. Really? Never. Yeah. Huh. I've had multiple surgeries. I had like, you, ever, you know, like the halo you have on your head. You did not. And out of my head, I had it on my wrist. Oh, what, like, like screws? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Two bars oh came out God. here. Two bars came out here, and it was connected with like an erector set. My arm was like. How'd that. you hurt? Uh, snowboarding. Yeah. <laughs> what wow. was snowboarding? You had like yeah, a yeah, Tom and Jerry like cartoon cast. Sure. Yeah, yeah. It was bad. It was like. Did they yeah, have was... like the brace to the hip? No, it was no. just. I just. I mean, it was supposed to be in a sling, but that was like, dude, that was freshman year of high school or. Senior year of high school. That was a tough look. Yeah. Fucking rolling around with that to school. Oof. Trying to get your little wiener wet. You know what I mean? I had to wear, I had to wear fucking, I had to wear button ups every day. And then like <laughs> unbutton just, can you just cut it off? Yeah, it fucking, what do I look like a pirate walking in with a fucking cut off <laughs> sleeve? Yeah. Like a jerk off? Fuck them. No. Dude, in high school, we had to wear sweaters during the summer and spring. So oh, you we, went to Catholic school? Yeah, Where'd we, you go, Bonner or we, something? Yeah. Is that where you went? We would make Dickies. Did I say this on the last yeah, episode? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I won't say it again. Oh, my God. You're like nine episodes Patreon. in. You're already no, repeat Patreon. material. Yeah, yeah. Oh, trust me. There's going to be a lot of, you know, waterhead fucking wet, <laughs> wet brain retellings. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I only have like six. Yeah, I almost lost my leg from the knee down. I was like, I've been real what? fucked what? up. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Snowboarding again? <laughs> Shark attack. <laughs> no. Uh, I was. You uh, suck at snowboarding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think that would be fucking, fucking telltale dog sign? shit at yeah, snowboarding? <laughs> Craziest thing, it was in the lodge too. That was the weirdest part. Uh, no, I, yeah. 
I slip taking shots with a neck yeah, brace. Too many <laughs> nutty Irishmen. Uh, All these stories are about you. Yeah. Uh, I um, I was rope swinging into like a creek, you know. Yeah. And uh, I jumped out. I was like I was just jumping in. Like I was like, oh, I'm just gonna jump in and like rinse off or whatever. We were leaving. Oh no. And I didn't get out far enough. Rock. Rock or Tree. root? I don't know. Yeah. And I went down. Ah! And I like jumped in with my knees bent. And I hit, I'm assuming, like a root, and it fucking oh exploded my God. open, dude. Like, bone ever, like, shark bite. Look. Oh, my God. And I was, oh I was eight, and I was like, do my my legs filled with creek water. Like, bone, like, bone flat. All like, the bacteria. Oh, my filled God. Filled with creek water. Filled, like, proper. My leg like, from the knee down was just like. Crick water. Crick, yeah, crick. I'm a crick um, guy. Did you guy? immediately pass out, or were you looking no, I went at into it shock like, for oh sure. my I went god, into shock, oh I was like, my hey, god, you know, dude, that's so that's ACL, MCL, all the shit is blown out. It was, it wasn't. Uh, I think you have I'm, those I'm, when you're a kid. I'm, 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 <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't hit puberty. Not to get your driver's license. <laughs> you, <laughs> you yeah, get your yeah, ACL, to, MCL, to get your gold hoop earrings. Do you get your MCL? You got to reverse park a fucking eighteen wheeler to get your ACL. You just, you just Lego parts until you get hit puberty. Uh, I what forget was the rehab. Oh, my, yeah, like yeah. Oh my god, yeah. dude! It was like a fucking six-hour surgery or something like that. Crazy. Jesus Christ! Uh, Someone went out to your parents and was like, "We saved the leg." You imagine how many? Years it was why it was crazy. It was like it was a scene, dude. Like we were for, first of all, we're back in the woods like three miles, and so now I'm stuck back in the woods. Oh Can you imagine my god! Your mother taking all your family members into a room and going. All right, nobody jerk <laughs> off until the surgery. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the fat one's about to lose his leg. All right, we need this. All Say right, two Hail Marys this. and put your dick back. Where's your brother? Where's your brother? <laughs> Is he in a bedroom? 